Aloha YouTube, it's your boy Gabe back at it with another green deck profile. I got back from school about five hours ago and I came back to a case split with Richard that you may or may not have seen by now. I don't know if it's going to be uploaded first, but yeah, so we got a deck and um, it's apparently good now, which is wild. We made it. Uh, Neo Nectar's finally tier 1, I guess, so, uh, we don't have that promo yet, which is tilting, but, you know, we'll get it soon, because it's a shot promo, so, we got Broccolini Musketeer Kira, because it's the only starter we have, um, I don't know if you know what a V starter does, but when you ride upon it, you draw a card, what riding is, is you, uh, you take a card, and you put it on top of it, when you do this, you, uh, you get to draw a card. That's, a, that's called a plus one in a card game nomenclature. So, yeah, it's the only starter we have. On to grade threes, running two copies of Cecilia, and one copy of Cecilia, and one copy of Cecilia. So, I'm probably going to max rarity this deck out. And when I say max rarity, I mean these are going to be ultra rare rares. But not the rainbow one, because getting the hot stamp is $100 cheaper if you just get it pink. So I want that. Cecilia is a really good card. Counterblast 1, you retire something. Check top 5, call 2. But if you have a grade 3 in soul, you can call 3 instead and your front row gets 10k. So you can just beat the shit out of your opponents while going plus 1 to plus 2 to plus 4. Which is dope. Um, she's cool against Murakumo, because if they do the full Vanguard lock thing, you can still call things, and if you were able to get a grade 3 in soul, you can, uh, give them 10k, so you can still do a lot of shit, even while your Vanguard's done, which is dope. Um, she's a great card. Honestly, URRs are probably, with no question, my favorite rarity in the game. The zoom-in is outstanding. The borderless, outstanding. The uh, the pink like at framing beautiful. Um, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of hot stamps, but it's really not a huge deal for me on this. Um, I honestly don't like the SVR because I think the green and yellow clash, so I don't like that. Honestly, I prefer the regular VR just because of how gross the green and yellow is. But you know, it's all going to be replaced by this sooner or later. So, uh, yeah. For Cecilia, it's literally the only... It is the most important card in the deck, without question. Um, running four copies of Trailing Rose. A lot of decks run Exploding Tomato. I'm going to run Tomato when I get the promo, because Tomato's really good if you get a shit ton of tokens, because it kills your token, because Tomato can kill the tokens. Um, I have the token Exploding Tomato set aside. It's... Uh, Van or Rio retire two plant tokens, get 10k, and after the attacks, kill itself to call two tokens in the back. Um, it's great with the promo, but until we get the promo, I just want to run Trailing Rose just because I don't think we get enough tokens to have it worth killing them off. And I, I think Trailing Rose is good. Oh, also, tokens exist in Vanguard now, if that wasn't clear by how often I said tokens. And yeah, Neonector gets them. Tokens are grade 0, 5k, and a crit with boost, and that's it. It's just free, it's it's free real estate. So Trailing Rose is on place call a token, but if you ride her, you get to call a second one. And on Van Soulbust 1, give three of your tokens 10k. So, you could, so she's usually your first go-to ride, just because you want to have a grade 3 in soul for Cecilia to maximize her effect. But... Giving making tokens beaters is nice, well, especially when you've got a free plus two, because that's what these tokens are just free advantage. It's great, so yeah. For her, I'll probably cut her down to three once I get the promo, and that's where one of the tomato slots is gonna go. Next, we're going four copies of Sylvia, one of the OR again, gonna be max rating this, so I'm gonna get the ORs eventually. Um, I, fun fact, I think the OR Sylvia has the shortest effect text in the game, next to, like, Counterblast 1 draw, game 1k or whatever, but, 
on place get a token. That's it. Free advantage, 10k base, because it's force. And yeah, so it's great. Uh, it's great when you have Cecilia and you kill something and call Sylvia's and Trailing Roses, so you turn a plus one into a plus three because it's free advantage. I love I love not having a call from hand. The well, it's probably not going to be optimal because you know you want to do rushy things. Theoretically, Neon Nectar can play a game without having to call a single card from hand, and I think that's pretty dope. I'm sad that the OR had to be the original art and not the, the reprint from the Zooster. I know it's an origin rare, so it needed to be the origin all art, but, like, the reprint art was so much better. So I'm sad about that. But this one's extra shiny, so it's okay. Uh, next, we're running four copies of Spiritual Sage, Tree Sage, Urban Soul. On place, Counterblast 1, if you have... Two or more t uh, grade zeros draw a card, and each card in his column gets 5k. So it says zero and not tokens, which if you want to call triggers is it's it's it, it's just inherently better because you if you want to call triggers you could still get the plus. Like if you're grade locked, you could just shit out triggers from hand and hopefully draw into the grade three you need, which is cool. Um, great for aggro because Sylvia call a token. Behind where you're gonna put Urban Soul. Call Urban Soul, use its skill. It's a 25k column you get a draw on your grade two turn. Neonector's rushing is absurd and I'm in love with it. Urban Soul's a great card because it's a good consistency piece. Next, three copies uh Lily of the Valley Musketeer Kaivons. This is gonna be replaced by the token, either by the promo and a fourth copy of the promo. On place, it gets 5k for each grade zero, so it can be a big beefy boy. Uh, the promo, for those of you who don't know, is Sunlight Garden Guide. On ride or call, you double the amount of plant tokens you have. But you you can you, you can only call them to open rear. So if you have three tokens, you can't call three. You're probably gonna only want to call to open anyways. But like it's so it's kind of irrelevant. But this is good because it hits numbers. People are running. Some people have been running spinach, which is like when you call by an effect, get 3k, which I don't really like just because it hits. Sure, you can use it on the turn after you play it, but I normally just intercept just to clear up front row for Cecilia. So it, it's really only for the turn that you play it, and Kaivon just hits bigger numbers than spinach does. Because it can, if you have two tokens, Kaivon's at plus 10, which is just pretty good. Uh, grade 1s. Four copies, uh, Lily of the Valley Musketeer, Rebecca. On play, on call, choose a grade one or less that isn't herself, and it gets 5k. You could turn a token into a 10k. And at the end of your turn, Soul Blast 1, retire token to bounce Rebecca. Um, I love Rebecca because you can call her with Cecilia, and if you have tokens from, say, Sylvia or Trailing Rose... At the end of your turn, you can bounce her, so you can turn it, uh, Cecilia's field presence into hand advantage. And the 5k is pretty good, especially early game, just because on the grade 2 turn, it kind of makes, it makes one, it turns one attack that would be shut off by a trigger into just not, just because you can turn a 15k man into a 20k, so Rebecca's great, I love her, I like the hand advantage. Next, four copies of Dandelion Musketeer Merka. On ride or call Soul Blast 1 and call a token to the same column. And when another rear guard is placed in the same column, she gets 3k. I'm not running Corolla Dragon, because well, sure, she only gets 3k for the column and not anywhere. But she gets the 3k while also giving a token. Corolla just sits there. She's a token generator at grade one, which is incredible. Just because you can ride her, get draw a card from Kira, and then call a token for a plus two. Um, so that's she's part of what makes the promo so good, just because if you don't have Sylvia to get a token, you have Merka as an option, so you can still have some. Um, she's great. Neonector is a bit of a soul issue, but just be smart about it and you'll be fine. Also, because if you call, if you um, put her to rear guard and not on the ride, it becomes a 16k column because of her plus three, which is... Um, 
If if you call her to rear when your opponent's at grade two, it actually makes the difference. Next is four of Fruit Basket Alf. Soul Blast wanna retire himself to call two tokens, and if your Vanguard's at grade three, the tokens get 5k. So those this turns your tokens into big beaters. He's also a plus one because it turns himself into two. Everything in this deck pluses you for a soul blast at best. I love it. I've um I've considered dropping him for Corolla just because I have the token generator in, at grade one in the form of Merka. But honestly, I love having as many token generators as I can. And the, and honestly, I really like what Elf can do just with the 5k. So I'm, I, I'm, I think I'm going to keep it like this. Last grade one is two copies of Knight of Prosperity Craig. All of your tokens in the same row get 5k. Put him in the back, to put two tokens behind it in the back next to him those tokens become 10k 15 if you call the fruits basket turns them into beaters probably going to drop one for a promo and it's a good it's a good auxiliary grade one you just don't want to ride it because it's a 7k uh triggers four draw it's the pg draw you know their options i really like her art because it's so serene and pretty and those little birds the birds are really cute this this art's really wholesome. Oh, I actually forgot to mention. Very important. Uh, you Cecilia has the bird too. It's right there, and he also has a red friend. I like birds. Um. Next is four heels. Watering elf. You need heels. You need to heal. And then eight crit, so four copies of Chestnut Bullet and four of Daniel. I'm a big sad because I'm glad I'm glad the draw trigger is is a uh, blossoming because I like her art, but I wish they just brought back better triggers. Like nobody cared about Watering Elf. We all either wanted the second Musketeer heal, which is from the Tri Three Booster, or the B. I wanted the B heal trigger. Chestnut Bullet is gone. No one cares. I wanted another Musketeer crit just because they have great art. And, and premium synergy, but it's, it's whatever. Uh, it's a crit four draw. Uh, I've seen some running more draws, but I don't think it's necessary because Cecilia calls things and decking out exists. You would, you'll notice that it's the first round of Neonector support. But I don't have Heyo Pineapple because Bushiroad can't let us have nice things. So we don't have Heyo Pineapple and V. Uh, Heyo Pineapple or Riot, drop that hashtag in the comments. I'll take it as a promo if I need to. Um, we're running four copies of each plant token. This is my personal preferred art just because the eyes are fucking adorable. And this one, which is also pretty cute. But the bud is just so much better. We're running eight just for... Well, Cecilia calls you, not Cecilia, Trailing calls you two, so if you theoretically have five tokens and you want to call two more, it lets you do that. Um, I'm running the eight just in case. Realistically, you'll never do that, but people are anal in this game, so like, especially Bushiroad, because you have to use their tokens, even though it's a token. Like, Konami tokens, you can use literally anything, but you have to use these, and like, I, I like the art, but I have my own tokens that are arguably more important. They're so important, I'm going to take a pause just so I can show you how good my the tokens that I'm going to use are. Like, I love these pink and red flower buds, but, like, I, I, I want the choice. I want to use this as a token. I want to use this as a token. I want to use these as a token. I want to use this as a token. This is the important one. I want to use... The, I went to the 200th YCS in Columbus, Ohio. I want to use these as my tokens. And I'm probably going to do that in casual games, at least to some extent. But... I wanted to do that in an official tournament. But, you know, I guess not. Pouring one out from the boys. Uh, but yeah, uh, eight tokens, just because uh, I have plenty of play sets and put them to use somehow. 
Then we're running eight grade three, so we're running eight force markers. I only have seven Cecilias because uh, one of the guys who did the case book wanted a Cecilia at one, and I'm like, I really don't care. It's a, it's a gift, so it's no biggie. So, uh, yeah, that's the deck. Um, I'll give the updated profile when I get uh, the Neo Nectar promo because she is so good. She warrants her own deck profile. Like, I love her to death. So we'll get that done as soon as we get it. It's a promo for participating in shop challenges. So hopefully that's soonish. But we don't know the dates yet at the time of recording. Recording, not uploading. I, it's been 17, 16 minutes, uh, probably close to 17 with the outro, so I'm probably going to wrap this up in a, a hot second after I just bring the birds back one more time, and the shiny one. I like, I like things shiny. Where's, where's OR? Where's the OR, Sylvia? That's not there. Uh, there it is. I like them. Uh, yeah, this is about 17 minutes. Thanks for the outro. Uh, K thinks by thoughts.